Ano? Isa na tuta te. Isalus na wai. Quiet! Quiet! That's better. Now, you all charged with disturbing the peace, assault and battery, inciting to riot, and several other equally serious violations of the law of this city. Is there anyone here to speak in your behalf? I say, is there anyone here to speak in your behalf? Mrs. Sully Levi, Counselor of Law. <laughs> Your Honor, <laughs> the defense rests. What? what? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there is no need to call for witnesses. For when I look upon that bench, a brow that gleams with honor, a set of snow white whiskers that bristle with floor plan, and a nose, I ask you to look upon that nose, ladies and gentlemen. Would you mind turning your head a bit, Your Honor, so we could get a look at your beacon? <laughs> a living symbol of the motto that unites this great land. E. Proboscis Unum. <laughs> now, Your Honor, I ask for freedom from my clients and a verdict of guilty for the real culprit here. <laughs> Mr. Horace Vandegelder of Yonkers, New York. Dolly! The only real one for committing these terrible crimes of willing full destruction to private property. Cruelty to a poor, unfortunate minor. Would you mind repeating that, dear? <laughs> <laughs> Begging your pardon, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Levi, but if it pleases the court, I have something to say. Cornelius Hackle, why I was just about to call on you. Go right on ahead. Cornelius Hackle, if you dare testify against me, you'll be discharged. I've already done that, Mr. Vandegelder. I'll do it again. Done it again, too. But even if you hadn't, I'd still say what I have to say. Today, the most important thing that can't happen to a man happened to me, and it might never have happened if I'd obeyed your orders and stayed in Yonkers, New York. Your Honor, I am talking about none other than love. Wait a minute. You're telling me that after one evening off, after 33 years, you fell in love? Oh no, Mr. Vandegelder, I didn't fall in love with Mrs. Irene Malloy of this city in just an evening. An hour, even that's too long. What's less than a minute? A second! Less than that. Um, a moment. That's it. I'll go slowly so you can get it all down. A música, espeta na música.
the world full of wonderful things. There I sat cooped up in Yonkers for years and years, and all the time wonderful people like Mrs. Malloy were walking around in New York, and I didn't know them at all. I don't know whether you can see from where you're sitting. Well, for instance, the way her eye and forehead and cheek come together up here. Can you? I tell you right now, a fine woman is the greatest work of God on earth. You can talk all you like about Niagara Falls and the pyramids, they aren't in it at all. Of course I've seen women before, but today I talk to one equal to equal, and they're so different from men. And they're awfully mysterious too. I bet you can know a woman a hundred years without ever being sure whether she really liked you or not. Today, I've lost so many things. My job, my future, everything that people think is important, but I don't care. Even if I have to dig ditches for the rest of my life, I'll be a ditch digger who once had a wonderful day. Dismiss, dismiss, all dismissed. All except Horace Van der Gelder of Yonkers, New York. You're all dismissed. You free my children and bless you. Go, go. <laughs> Well, Horace Van de Gelder, there is your love.